this problem, a given wastewater treatment plant is being upgraded. A new screw pump is being added, which will handle an additional 10 million gallons per day during wet weather and be used to control the depth of water in the wet well. The wet well is 20 feet deep. The average daily flow at the treatment plant is 10 MGD and the required chlorine demand is 50 pounds per hour. This is achieved by two chlorinator units, each with a max dosing rate of 10 milligrams per liter as CL2, currently dosing a combined concentration of seven milligrams per liter into this flow. If a mass of 1200 pounds of chlorine is used per day during disinfection, find the daily peaking factor that was used in the current operation of this treatment plant. So this problem has a very long problem statement. However, all it is asking us to find is the peaking factor that accompanies a certain concentration of chlorine. Some of you may already recognize how to solve this problem. For those of you who might not, on this question, I tried to be helpful and include the phrase mass per day in the problem statement. I realize it's vague, but if you happen to search for this, it would take you to the correct section in the manual with the following equation. If you go to section 6.7.1, mass conservation and continuity, there is a section called the concentration to mass per day conversion. Here, it gives us the exact equation that we need to solve this problem. It's given as mass m in units of pounds per day equals a concentration c in units of milligrams per liter times q, which is our flow, in units of MGD times our conversion of 8.34 and the units for this is going to be pounds per million gallons over milligrams per liter. So once we know what equation to use, we can see that this question is actually extremely simple to solve and that only a small subset of the information given in the problem is required. We don't need anything about the screw pump, the wet well, or the max dosing rates of the two chlorinator units. We don't even necessarily need the information about the chlorine demand in pounds per hour since we are given the chlorine demand in pounds per day. All this problem requires is that you understand two things. How to convert pounds per day to milligrams per liter, which is going to be given by the reference manual here, and knowing that total flow is going to be the average daily flow times the peaking factor. So let's include peaking factor into this equation as well. Now that this equation is set up, we can solve it directly. Our pounds per day of chlorine mass is already given as 1200. Our concentration of chlorine is given as 7 milligrams per liter. Our flow here is going to be given as the average daily flow of 10 million gallons per day. We are looking for our peaking factor and we have our conversion. If we simplify this down and solve for the peaking factor, we can see 
that our final answer is very close to 2, which is our second answer over here. So this problem is intentionally meant to take a while to read and requires you to pick out exactly what information is needed to solve the problem. If you can get through that part, all this is is a simple conversion of pounds per day to milligrams per liter at a given flow rate with a known conversion factor. And that's it.